Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by, and of course you got here, say it with me, just in time. That's right, it's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. I gotta be quick about the unboxing part because we got more rain coming. I'm so tired of the rain. It's been really bad. You've probably seen it on the news. East Texas has just been hammered. Well, pretty much all of North Central Texas has been hammered. You really can't probably see it from here, but I lost one of my big oak trees. The top snapped off. Lots of rain, lots of wind. And we've, we've got three more days, four more days lined up. But we'll get a, a brief respite, and then the bottom will fall out let's open some boxes let's let's check out some stuff we'll start with Suri direct this is this is i think this is a good one to have Suri direct has sent us a product that fits right into this nasty weather scenario because when that last storm came through we lost power for what it was seven hours before it kicked back on fortunately we have the generator on trudy so we weren't in bad shape but a lot of people were but this will help with that this is a power failure alarm and it's a it's a very simple thing in case you you've got a freezer full of food or something or more importantly, you have medical equipment that requires power, CPAP machine, oxygen concentrator, you know what I mean. This little device is really simple. And we're gonna check it out. We're gonna go back to the green box where I have the freezer. And we're gonna check this out. But basically when the power goes off, this alarm sounds. So you're aware. And this next package comes to us from Generic US. Generic US is a store on Amazon. Ah, this is cool. Thank you card. It's always nice. This is a stainless steel hose, propane hose, with a built-in regulator and pressure gauge. This allows you to have your portable propane fireplace with, and not have the propane bottle sitting right there in your camp. So we'll, we'll be setting that up and we'll see how well this performs. Won't be today because it's about to storm. <laughs> but it'll be in this video. Okay, we'll take these two items, put them to the side because the next unpackaging is a rather sizable one. This is baby letter dog seat, back seat dog platform. It looks really cool in the picture. Comes in a nice carrying case. Oh, that's, that's, that's a hard surface. Way better. Oh, this is so cool. All right, this, this actually goes in the back seat of the car or the pickup and it gives you a flat level surface for your, for your puppies, for your, your four-footed friends. So let me go clean out the back of my truck, and I think we've got time to put this in place before that gets here. Let me go to work. I have it installed. You have to keep in mind that my truck, my F-150, is, is an extended cab, so we only have half the space. Well, not quite half, but anyway. So, 
the back seat is a little shorter I have asked for some assistance and the ratty pack said they were happy to help me show you this it's a little look the straps are a little bit snug but that keeps it tight now I'm sitting on the console if I had a bench that actually would be the, the same level but there's a little mesh so that they can see through to the front there are pockets for storing leads and water dishes huh? i like that the seat belt tethers the, the puppy tethers actually you can open it up there's <laughs> We want to go for a ride. We want to go for a ride. Yes, we do. The ends zip up. And then there's a hanging strap. So let me let me get this secure. And we'll see it from the front. I think Mama's going to like that. Because that will work really well in her SUV. The Ratty Pack enjoyed their ride. So while I was driving, I was I was contemplating. I, I, when I was figuring this this back seat dog thing out, there's a zipper on the back, which is where the plywood panels fit in. So there's there's three panels. You unzip that, you can pull the panels out. As I've done here, I pulled out that middle panel. It would be simple for me to make some adjustments to the wood, to the plywood panels. Basically, I could cut this off so that it will lay inside of the actual measurements of the back seat of my truck. Trim off a little bit on both sides, trim off a little more here, and that way I've got a pretty level hard floor for the puppy dogs. So that that is where I like this, and I know Yappy's really gonna love it too. Let to get a little feedback, little little feedback from her. Alright, let's move on to the next item. We gotta get power. I gotta, I better fire up the generator and get that freezer plugged back in. I'm so glad I have the alarm to let me know when I don't have power. And I can actually, I heard it while I was out there working. So here in Texas, we typically have burn bans start going into effect in July, August, into September before the fall rains start. I'm not sure if that's going to happen this year, but in the event that we have a burn ban and, and we're camping, I'll, I have a, a propane fire pit that I take with us when we go on our excursions. And usually, I mean, it, it came with a 10-foot hose. 
so when we're when we're sitting around the fire the, the bottle would be like right here thanks to this new hose we can get that propane bottle way over there and because it is a steel sheathed hose you don't have to worry about your your rubber line getting kinked or cracking from sun exposure it's well protected i really like that it came with the regulator already installed and it was a direct connection for my fire pit this is a heck of a deal right here man it includes a hanger and a strap hanger and a strap so that it stays secure you also have an adapter and your teflon tape and it'll roll up with the fire pit and go in the in the transport bag yeah i like it and i know you will too all right let's open another box so we, we have a returning friday's finds sponsor so in december of 23 purple bird mall sent us a hatchet i really like that little hatchet well they they really like my video so they asked me to do one for this now i'm i kind of think i know what's in it because we talked about a couple of different products but we're going to check this out it is another sharp instrument beautiful packaging is it sealed how do we get in there ah there we go aha they have sent us another beautiful beautiful hand axe look at that I think it could use a, a little bit of an edge. It's still pretty, it's pretty good though. Well seasoned oak. Look how sharp that is. Oh, it's got a good heft to it. All right. Now I need to see if I can still throw an axe. I really like this one. It's it's got a it, it it took me a little bit to find the, the balance, but the the head is it's got some really good weight, so that when it's when it hits the target, man, it just goes right in. I like that a lot, and I know you will too. So you can chop your wood, and then you can throw things. No need to have a. So if you have an invader, just make sure you got it handy. All right, let's go look at something else. I've moved the, the dog seat to the car. Here's what it looks like in an Infiniti QX60. It actually fits way better in here than it did in the back seat of my little, of my F-150, because the back seat's got more leg room here. But that's a great fit. I know Yeppy's going to be really excited about that. She's working right now, but we'll get out here, get her out here and get her feedback on it. 
I love the presentation on this this hatchet. This will make such a, this will make a perfect gift. My youngest daughter throws sharp objects, so this will be a great birthday present for her. I really like once once I hit found that balance, I like this one for several reasons. One, it's just sharp as can be. Seems to be some really good steel, and and it's it's got a good handle. Yeah, what kind of I like the decorative patterns on it. Yeah, I like it. Checking out the the dog seat edition. Wow. Once it's got a hard floor. Yeah. We got pockets for the dog leads and yeah, stuff. Water. And we can actually pull the dog seat, belt. seat belt tethers oh, through there. This is cool. It, and it's secure and it's really made well it is it is this really, is really this, neat i love this and it the nice part is you don't have to remove it to throw your groceries in it you, this it, is awesome and this was easy to install oh uh, it just took just a minute or two and then we have storage still down in the foot well right. underneath yeah and it's very oh my goodness this built like now i love this this mesh so they can see and it keeps the airflow and they can see you because, you know, if they can't see you, if you're a rat terrier in our world, they're barking. This is great. Look at this. And it hooks up. Oh, my goodness. This is fabulous. We're going to use this all the time now. It is a great addition to the Ratty Pack gear set. This is perfect. I Good. love this. I love how stable it is and well built. Well made, rather, because it's not built. It's made. Well, somebody built it. All right. It's a win, dude. This is a win. Win-win. All right. Moving right along. Well, you can, sit, you can tell by the, the shirts. <laughs> this has taken several days. Packages are kind of, you know, my, my package delivery service is kind of, we're in the country. Take, sometimes it takes a little while. Anyway, weather's still... We're still we're still in that atmospheric river weather pattern, but I got a little little break today, so we're gonna open a package, and I'm really I'm excited about this one. This one's perfect for the RV lifestyle. This is from Safoner, and it is a clothes drying rack. Hardware. We got some, some more hardware. We got a bungee cord and instructions. That's what it's gonna. It's supposed to look like. Doesn't look too difficult. Five steps. All done. I, I made one little one little change. So the instructions, actually I guess it's two changes. The, in, the instructions are showing it on this side, but because I have the hitch haul, that doesn't give me a whole lot of space down here. But I'm gonna deploy it so you can see what I'm talking about. I really like that we have the, the, the bungee cord lock and that actually, that carabiner actually threads up there so it locks that in place and then when we're deployed now i've got several two other holders on my ladder so that that's the other reason i chose to put it over here and this second change instructions show this being inside the ladder but if that that kind of it doesn't really work because it doesn't allow me to get this arm or the arms far enough out to clear that. So now we need to hang some clothes on there and see what it looks like. Be right back. This is going to be real handy for a couple reasons. You need to hang some clothes. We've got the hooks to do that. So I carry a small washing machine with me and i frequently hang dry my clothes that will be a nice addition i won't have to string up a clothesline coming back from swimming 
it's always nice to have a place to hang your towels to dry. And rather than trying to find a place to stretch a rope, I can we can just hang them right there. Now I'll have to go with short stuff on this side. But that's okay, because I got short stuff I wash too. Socks and undies and, yeah, t-shirts, short pants. That'll work. I, that's a heck of an addition right there. We have rubber pads to keep it from taking your powder coating off the ladder. And if you need to get up on the roof, you can just flip it out of the way. There you go. That's a great value right there. If you have an RV, you really want to have one of those. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. All of these items are available on Amazon. I'll provide you with a link in the card above and in the description below. Now to get to the description below, you gotta, you gotta click the more button. That link will take you to the Dude RV gear recommendations page on Amazon, and that's actually a shopping list I've created for the Friday's Finds products. Your business is most appreciated. I know the vendors would really appreciate you paying a visit to their listings as well. And if something caught your fancy, your business is most appreciated. If you've not already, I'd be greatly honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and remember to slap that bell as well. That way you'll never miss another edition of Friday's Finds. And now that we're out here in the country, I've got lots of different unique products coming. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why we get to do what we do. Thank you for that opportunity. And for our patrons, we are most grateful for your generosity. Thank you so much. You got rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?